everyone. This is a review of uh, Kurt Adler's Star Wars Fabra Fiche uh, sculptures. Um, they're handcrafted. Uh, they've been out for a while. Um, the box says they came out in 2007. My mom thinks they came out earlier in 2005. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. It seems a lot of times 2005 is kind of like a stop date for us. Uh, my stepfather died that year, and I don't know. It always seems like everything happened in 2005, and I'm not sure if it did. So, but anyway, they did come. The box at least says 2007. Um, uh, they we originally got them at Target. Uh, or the ones, uh, this is actually a second Darth Vader sculptor. We had another one before that. Uh, the Yoda comes from my own personal collection. Um, we got them at Target, and the Darth Vader spot, uh, Darth Vader, uh, as far as the price on the box, was at like $20. I think the Yoda was a little less. And, um, so, um, Anyway, yeah, I'm kind of drawing a blank here. The Yoda's from my personal ex uh, collection. His cane, unfortunately, did break off. Um, and I don't know why the doll has some glue on her head. But anyway, uh, Yoda's about seven uh, inches tall. He's wearing a Santa suit. Uh, he normally has a cane, uh, but as I said, that broke off. Um, and then you see in the back here, it's very Christmassy, you know, since he's green and he's wearing a Santa suit. And here you've got some lovely toys, a doll uh, that for some reason has some glue on her, I don't know why, and a little drum, and then some little wrapped gifts and a horn. Now, what's really interesting with Kurt Adler is that he tends to use uh, cloth, real cloth that perhaps, I don't know, maybe they dip it in a, a really thick starch or, I don't know, they apply something that makes it nice and stiff. Um, the only problem with it is that it tends to get dirty um, very easily. Uh, this is not so much of a problem with the Yoda sculpture, but it was a real problem with the Darth Vader. Uh, uh, these, well, Kurt Adler's stuff, it can, they can, um, it depends on the item. Some of them can actually go very high. Uh, like, for instance, right now, it, at one point, people were going nuts for these things because they had kind of disappeared from the market. And the thing about them is that they're kind of, they're in their own way, they're kind of fragile. That it's easy for them to um, get damaged, and so uh, for that reason, uh, you know, they were already probably a limited edition. But because they're, it's easy for them to get damaged. Um, it uh, they they can increase in value because it becomes you know harder to get one that's in pretty good condition. This is particularly true of Darth Vader, um, but I don't know for odd for some reason Kurt Adler's done quite a few Yodas and they never seem to be you know it's kind of funny but uh, I don't know it's weird uh, Yoda's not exactly you would think he'd be a very popular character but I don't know if he is really compared to some of the other characters, like particularly to Darth Vader, I don't know if he is really that popular. So he doesn't tend to always go very high. Though they probably go higher than what you originally bought them, like, uh, you know. For a while, Darth Vader had went all the way up to like $200, but he's, since then he's dropped in price. He's still more than, you know, what you originally probably bought him for. He was like, you know, $20. And now on eBay, you can get him anywhere from $50 or $60. But, um... 
that's the thing about collecting, you know, it, it, it's kind of like the stock market, you know. Uh, one day, you know, one week something's really hot and it goes up in price and then the next week it totally falls and loses its value, you know. It, it's not, it's kind of rare that there's some things that can maintain their value, though there are some things that do. Anyway, uh, Darth Vader. Um... Darth Vader is about uh, nine inches tall. I think he's like seven inches in uh, diameter. And it's a sculpture of him wearing a little Santa hat over his helmet. And um, he's building a, a, a Death Star out of snow. And um, so... Um, this sculpture is kind of hard. If you have it, this sculpture, you should really keep it like in a case uh, because one thing is that dirt is attracted to these sculptures. I, I don't know. I guess it's how they're made. And um, this one particularly is very hard to clean. Um, very nice. See, the, notice the gold, uh, the silver chain rather, and nicely painted. As I said, these things are hand crafted and they're hand painted. I was kind of surprised the little poof balls are actually glued on to the hat rather than sewing on. And uh, so this is the side. And again the cape is actually fabric that's been uh, put something on. The first thing these thi this Darth Vader sculptures tend to lose is their cape. It, you know, it's very hard to find one that has it, that still has their cape. Um, and the capes are very hard to keep clean. We've kept this one in the box, and as you can see, it's already kind of faded in this one area. I don't know if it's always good to actually keep things in a box, to tell you the truth. I, I think sometimes the, uh, uh, the uh, cardboard and the plastic itself can um, break things down. In fact, my mom and I have been talking about, at least with stuff we're selling, even though a lot of people like things in the box, we've been um, thinking that if we don't sell an item within the year, we probably should take them out of their box because, and wrap them separate, you know, keep the box but collapse it and, and keep the item out of the box because we have noticed that um, certain uh, plastics uh, start to deteriorate in it. Um, Sometimes it, the, the, the clothing seems to start staining the actual skin of dolls. Uh, the hair kind of gets staticky. There's a lot of problems with keeping things in the box. So, um, and speaking of boxes, let me show you um, the front of this. This is the box that Darth Vader came in. I no longer have Yoda's box. Uh, this is actually a picture of the classic Darth Vader, the one that's not even in Lucasfilm. Um, originally, when you see original paintings, if I remember, of Darth Vader, they had hit the sides of his hood, um, these, uh, or this part, coming down a lot lower. So, um, and that's the original prize. Um, on the bottom, you see there's a 2007, this is a decoration, my child's toy, and, uh, Santa's World, Holidays Are, Santa's Holidays Are World, or, I don't know, since 1946. By the way, this Kurt Adler is not to be confused with the dead, uh, uh, composer or uh, there anyway there's somebody with the same name that's dead and um, okay nothing on the top there really bottom uh, side is just a bigger part but in here handcrafted Fabergé Kurt S. Adler Incorporated is proud to present our exclusive group of Fabergé Star Wars figurines every Fabergé Sculpture reflects skilled artistry and is meticulously hand-painted with exceptional attention to detail. We feel the collection is destined to become a treasured 
heirloom <laughs> for your annual holiday celebrations. And on the back, they show you all the, 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 the groups that had uh, came out with this set. You know, there's Darth Vader. Um, I'm not getting a great picture here. Uh, Boba Fett with a, a hand, with a big hand frozen in car carbonite and has a big bow. Uh, we've got the Ewoks here. Uh, with an R2-D2 head. That's kind of creepy. Um, then there's Yoda, and notice Yoda's cane, which is broken off on mine. Uh, C-3PO holding a Christmas wreath and with as a Santa cap. And then we have our two detail with a, uh, uh, with a Santa cap and holding a little stocking with gifts. And we have the side again. So, they're quite adorable. Um... When I went to the store, we only had the Darth Vader and the Yoda. I hadn't seen the others. Um, I've seen them online. The Boba Fett is, seems particularly rare. I almost never see him. The R2 and the C-3PO seem to be pretty common. So, um, anyway, um, that's my review. I, I guess I don't really have too much to say about them, but... Uh, they are awfully cute, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.